Giovanni Pernis and Rose Ailing Ellis looked closer than ever as they returned to the dance floor, but was Rose who stole the show. The Strictly Come Dancing 2021 champions are back dancing together again as the hit show goes on the road. Rose and Giovanni are among the several stars of the BBC One show who will be dazzling audiences up and down the country in the coming weeks on the Strictly Live Tour. The string of arena dates kicked off on Thursday night at the Utilita Arena in Birmingham. Rose, however, went all out with the sparkles, opting for a top-to-toe encrusted gold jumpsuit. The soap star kept her long hair flowing in waves with minimal makeup while her outfit did all the talking with extravagant feathered sleeves. In one snap the pair gazed at each other before turning and smiling and laughing for the awaiting camera. But obviously I didn't see my family for quite a while, so I went to see my family. I even tried my little see on Christmas Day. So it was very nice, mad Christmas, and I have a few days to myself, going to spa, eating food, and then back to here. Same, same, just sp spending with my family, come back to Italy, spend time with family, and then come back here to do the tour. <laughs> Definitely, I feel so proud of it. And I'm also proud of Strictly Teens, that they listen, and they just do it. And, and everyone in the crew has got um, deaf awareness training as well. So it's just such a lovely step, and I feel, my it's not as hard work do you know what i mean it, they make it easy for me and that's where it should be so hopefully it would influence other companies to do the same was it about three weeks yeah. we had off? it was great for you because he went back over to slovenia to spend time with the family and then i was just back home i've got two young boys so they've been pleased to have the mummy home for a few weeks yeah, they're coming on Saturday, so the kids are so excited. To be honest, they're a little bit more excited to see Ali, Ash and Jeanette than they are to see me. They've had me for a good few weeks, they've really missed these guys. Mm. It's important, it's important that you establish that relationship. And I mean, John's and I's relationship is based on respect, and it has always been with good mates. And I said, I've made a friend for life, and I do love him very, very much. He's never shouted at me, actually. Johannes has never never raised his voice. He's given me a few curious eye rolls every now and again. But I've learned to interpret what those mean. And that's, that's why this relationship works, is because we communicate, you know, we always have. If there's a problem, we, we iron it out straight away. We don't let things linger and fester. And I think that's, that's the key to any strong relationship, whether it's working or, you know, or a friendship. <laughs> oh, we don't stop laughing all the time. We have to be quiet sometimes because they can hear us out here and Daisy's <laughs> screaming and shrieking. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's not just me. I'm in the middle of it now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like all the time. All the time. It's just <laughs> fun TikToks, Instagram videos. Yeah. It's just a bundle of laughs, but it's a great bunch and everybody's getting along so well. And yeah. these two get on like a house on fire, yeah. which, is, which is amazing. And we've so. still got five weeks left. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd say for me, it really helped boost my confidence. I was doing things I've never, ever done before. For, um, wearing things I've never worn and I started off really like scared and timid but I think Nikita and everyone helps bring out that inner confidence and like fun side to everything so I definitely also see dance in a whole nother light I love it and I don't think I ever want to stop <laughs> we are back after two years it's actually quite special it's gonna be magical yeah, it's both special. of us get to do it from the cast of 2020 we never got to do it so Wonderful news, isn't it? It is. It is. It's cool as well, you know, like, I love being in arenas anyway, but, like, when my mates ask, oh, what are you doing Saturday? It's like, oh, I'm just going to go and dance at the MEM with a world, world champion. champion. <laughs> you know, it's pretty cool. How the hell did you end up I have anyway? no idea. No idea. <laughs> yeah, man, I went to a load of Ricky's fights, yeah. Yeah, I did. I've always gone to the MEM. I think the first thing I went to the MEM at was, um, I think it was Eminem, actually. I went to watch Eminem when I was about... 11. <laughs> yeah. So, so I've, been, so I've been swearing ever since. <laughs> so yeah, it's a special place for me that.